Mariah Lynn is to not be trusted, okay? Anytime we see Mariah Lynn on baddies, she's always talking about this is her girl, this is her best friend, only for her to stab them in the back. And I'm talking about her relationship with Bianca Bonnie, right? Listen, you want to talk about it? You better believe we are. Welcome back to Damien After Dark. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button and like this video as well to help me get into the YouTube algorithm. And get in the comment section and join the conversation because your opinion matters and I'd love to hear what you have to say regarding this situation. Last but not least, if you would like to support the Damien After Dark movement and help us sustain this podcast, in the description box below will be some ways that you can donate using PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. I'll also post my Amazon wish list as well. Thank you guys for the love, support, donations, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff, okay? So, we met Bianca Bonnie this season on Baddies Caribbean through Mariah Lynn, who was on last season of Baddies Caribbean, right? Now, we know that last season on Baddies Caribbean, Mariah got drunk into the river in Jamaica by Sapphire. And this season on Baddies Caribbean, when Bianca Bonnie made her entrance, she came in running up on Sapphire, because she wanted to have her friend Mariah Lynn's back, right? That's what Bianca is saying. And I also still think that producers put a battery in her back. Producers knew that Bianca was Mariah's friend. And, you know, they probably saw these text messages that I'm going to share with you in a moment. And thought, you know, this is a great moment and a great way to introduce Bianca. Let's let her defend her friend Mariah and have her run in and let the world in, uh, meet Bianca by having her run up on Sapphire, right? Now, this is where Sapphire, or, or not Sapphire, this is where Bianca and Mariah Lynn's friendship goes wrong. When the episode airs and all of us are looking at Bianca sideways, like, what the fuck you running up on Sapphire for? Because we like Sapphire, or even if you don't like Sapphire, you know, she's been around longer than you, Bianca. We know her over you, so we're going to take her side over you with you running up on her and us not knowing your last name, middle name, first name, nothing about you, sweetheart, right? So, we all saw that scene when Jayla and the girls pulled Mariah Lynn over to address the Bianca run up on Sapphire situation, and Mariah let her friend sail down the river. Mariah threw her friend right out on Interstate 65 in front of a Mack truck and said, See ya, bitch. <laughs> see ya, see. What's to happen is Mariah done got over here on this baddies train, and she done got around Natalie, Jayla, all the rest of these girls, and she thinks she's better than Bianca. She looks at Bianca like, well, I'm this new OG. You know, I've been on the show two seasons. This is your first season. She turned her back on Bianca, and we got the text messages. Um, We got some text messages that Bianca shared and her side of the story, right? So, first of all, I want to show you guys these messages to give you some clarity on why Bianca ran up on Sapphire in the second or third episode. Okay, so we'll go with these text messages, which some of y'all probably have already saw. We're going we're gonna to start with that for context for those that may not know. Um, now, you can see up here on the screen, these are the, the, the DM exchanges between Bianca and Mariah Lynn. Because when Bianca saw the footage and saw Mariah selling her down the river, she was like, what the fuck? You know, we kind of had this plan. You knew that I was going to come in and have your back. You knew that I was going to come in and jump this bitch for you. And even in the text messages... You see where Bianca says it's up. Mariah messages her back during when they were filming. Uh, keep in mind, this is when Mariah was filming Baddies Caribbean during the Carib during the uh, Jamaica trip. She said, I got snuck and I still stood 10 toes yesterday. And Suki and her friend tried to jump. I swung on Suki. They put me by myself with them on purpose. I ain't dumb, but I don't care. I still handled myself as I should. Bianca says, what the fuck you mean you got snuck? Mariah says, Sapphire and Suki, yes, Sapphire snuck me, sis. Bianca says, it's up. Mariah says, and drag that bitch in the water, yup. Bianca says, don't post nothing about it. Now, this is where it gets interesting, okay? Y'all see the second slide, right? Mariah says, all the girls would have defended me, but they separated me. 
So she's saying the girls would have defended her, but Zeus separated her, right? Sis, do not do this show. Trust me. We'll talk on the phone, okay? Bianca said, I would have done it with you, LOL. Mariah says, it's traumatizing for real. Like the behind the scenes shit. And that was the part that gagged me. Not the entire, you know, not the entire situation between Bianca and Mariah. These... Yet again, we have more evidence of someone speaking out on the Zeus network and talking about how shit is crazy behind the scenes. Now, I'm sure Lemmy or somebody over at Zeus is calling Bianca right now telling her, why the fuck did you post those screenshots? Why do you have us looking like, you know, or calling Mariah? What are you talking about? You know, shit is crazy behind the scenes. I'm ready for this Zeus network documentary. And whoever produces this Zeus network documentary, I'll be more than happy to, to, to participate. Because baby... And Mariah, if it is so traumatizing behind the scenes, my love, why are you still there? It's just like Jayla. Do I believe Mariah and Jayla when it comes to this situation? Yeah, because just like every other person that's been on this network, they've talked about how shit is behind the scenes. But the money and the coercion, the alleged coercion and the money, they have to they almost have to do it. Think about it, y'all. Jayla and Mariah and them the reality TV is how they pay their bills. What other show is going to hire Mariah and Jayla? Nobody is. They have really no choice but to work with baddies. Or they can go out here and get a job at Home Depot, McDonald's, the local post office, like the rest of us. Right? Y'all like my little pride um, light? It's a little rainbow light. I thought it was cute. Um, so, sometimes I feel like Mariah and Jayla and these girls, even though Mariah wasn't speaking out on Zeus, this was a private text message between her and Bianca, so it's not like she was trying to expose Zeus. However, anytime these girls talk about, like, you know, how toxic it is behind the scenes, some of y'all end up going back. And also, Mariah was in that multi-episode deal. Remember I told y'all about the contract she signed, the multi-episode deal contract that she signed? Um, so, maybe she's... She came back to the show because she had to. I don't know. But she says it's traumatizing for real. Like the behind the scenes shit. I wish. She's saying she wishes Bianca would have done it with her. Because I wouldn't be going through this. Um, Bianca says at all. And. Mariah says I told you come with me to the auditions. And. Bianca says. And I think that's why they didn't. Mariah says, yep, I think so too. I don't know what Bianca's talking about when she says, and I think that's why they didn't. Maybe they didn't let her come to the auditions with Mariah. I don't know. But, ever since these text messages were released, you know, they've pretty much had beef, right? The beef is on, the beef is up. The best friends, this is why I can't take Mariah Lynn seriously, especially when she was talking about Taseki's her girl. Don't nobody touch her girl while you fighting for Taseki on Sunday night. You was why, don't, why didn't you fight for Bianca the same way she was fighting for you? Why didn't you have Bianca's back the same way she had Joe back? Because Mariah, I don't, you're a snake, my love. I'm just waiting on you to shed your skin and turn into your next personality. I don't get it. Make it make sense. Um, okay, so let's talk about this screenshot that Bianca posted. Okay? Because Mariah has been saying, you know, ever since these screenshots were posted, Mariah has been saying, oh, she got Bianca on the show. You know, Bianca should be grateful. She helps get her on this show. Um, and, you know, Bianca's clapping back saying, bitch, you couldn't even get your own sister on the show. How you get me on the show? And I, when you showed up to the auditions, Mariah, Bianca didn't show up to the auditions. They sent her an offer. They called her up. Just saying. Okay, so this is what Bianca had to say. 
right now I'm not going to read all this because y'all know she wrote a lot and she wrote some more that I got too but I, we're going to get to I'm going to read a little bit of it and we'll talk about you know certain pieces of it so she says listen to be honest I really don't care if that girl feels like I used her to get on a show I was already on TV doing me minding my business on a whole different network I didn't go to audition well first of all that's true right I don't know what about loving hip hop if she was still in loving hip hop or not I don't know that but I know she was doing working with now that's TV doing one of their biggest shows coming up Miami which I've watched it's actually one of their best shows that they got um she says I didn't go to audition for Baddies East when she asked me to come with her right we see in the text messages Mariah said you know uh did you say you should have came yeah Mariah said you should have came to the auditions I think that's what she said in the text messages right so Bianca says you know I didn't go to the auditions for Baddies East when she asked me to come with her, and I have my own personal relationship with Natalie Nunn in real life, the person who actually calls the shots and can greenlight a person being on her show. We've talked about that. There's some truth to that, but there's also some, you know, some holes we could poke in that. Um, that's why I was casted as a celebrity cast member. Not hating, but I, I don't think anybody knows who Bianca is. No shade. Is she a public figure? Is she a reality star? Yes, but celebrity, I... But Zeus is calling her that, so we're going to go with it, okay? Um, I was casted as a celebrity cast member on the show. The fuck? People are really delusional. Like, if you couldn't get your own sister on a TV show with you that you brought to the auditions with you and been trying to get on there, why do you think you could get me on a show without me having my own motion? Bianca, baby girl. Do you know how to use a period, a comma? Do you know what a run-on sentence is? <laughs> because this is one big-ass run-on sentence. Like, she was just... <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? I literally came on the show for the girl because of how I felt about how she was being treated in Jamaica last season. And her face being... B-L-O-O-D-Y. That hurt my feelings in real life, so I came in on the same timing, not for a storyline, because I could not give a flying fuck. I could have been on those islands sipping pina coladas with my man whole time and not fighting nobody the whole season. The fuck? I would have still got my, got paid my whole check. Now, Bianca. Now, there's two things about this part that I, with Bianca. One, I, one part I believe, one part I don't. She said that she didn't have to audition mariah didn't get her on the show they called and asked her now i believe that i do believe that i don't think that mariah had any pull i do think that you know zeus or natalie contacted bianca first now do i think that they knew about her relationship with mariah and that her and mariah could have possibly been friends and that helped her get on the show yes i think that could have helped but i don't think that mariah was the sole reason as to why bianca got on the show so I'm with her on that. You know, I believe that she has a relationship with Natalie. She has been on other shows. She's been working more than Mariah. Right? She's been working more than her. Um, but she says, I literally came on the show for the girl because of how I felt about how she was being treated in Jamaica last season. She says, I could not give a fuck about a storyline because um, I could have been on the island sipping pina coladas with my man and not fighting the whole season and I, I would have still got paid the whole same check no you wouldn't baby come on now if you really could have been sitting on that island sipping pina coladas with your man over um, being on baddies and fighting for Mariah I really don't think you would have chose Mariah come on Bianca let's really keep it a buck because you was doing good with keeping it a buck but then you kind of turned do I think you kind of wanted to defend Mariah? Yeah, but that wasn't your sole reason for coming on baddies. You wanted that paycheck. You wanted that exposure. You're trying to build your resume. And I'm not blaming you for that, Bianca. I would be doing the same thing. I would want to, if I was you and I had done Coming Up Miami and I had done Loving Hip Hop, it only makes sense for you to fall into the Zeus Network lane. They all do that. It only makes sense for you to take that job, make that money, build your resume, get your name out there, continue to network, continue to grow. It has nothing to do with Mariah. Neither one of you were friends with each other. It's giving very fugazi. It's giving very fraudulent. It's giving very fake. Now, was, do I think I do think Bianca probably felt like she was friends with Mariah? 
but not best friends like Mariah was trying to portray that they were like, you know, they were they were they were great friends. Um and I forgot Bianca. That's why Aubrey calls her chicken noodle soup because she says, you know, she's been viral. She's she's been going viral since she was thirteen. Um So, you know, I don't know. Mariah, at this point, it's Bianca 1, you 0, because you're looking real foolish, okay? Um, so, let's talk about what Mariah responded and said, right? So, Mariah responded to, um, sorry, y'all lost my train of thought. Mariah, Mariah responded to Bianca's posts, um, and one of the posts that Bianca put up, which I'm fixing to show up here too, is, and I didn't put every post up here because I don't want to go through all of them, but one of them that she accused Mariah of, one of the things she accused Mariah of was having a stanky pussy, right? We know a lot of the girls like to go to your pussy stank when they get mad. Well, Mariah got wind of all the tweets that, Mar that, that Bianca was putting out, and she responded with a video. Now, I do want to say, copyright disclaimer, I do not own, co do not own the rights to any of these videos. Um, shout out to, uh, who was it that I get this from? Baddies T Inc. I think it was Baddies T Inc. Yeah. Shout out to them for this post. I saw this on their page. I got it from there. I do not own this. They own this, which is why I had the copyright disclaimer at the beginning of this video. Um, we are strictly using this for research purposes, teaching purposes, learning purposes. Okay. So this is what Mariah Lynn had to say. Roll it. Talk about my pussy. Bitch, why are you so worried about my pussy? You need to be worried about your pussy and them panties you gave back to London, the stylist, who showed me the picture of the cream corn crusted crud stain that you left on the panty part, baby. My pussy's perfectly fine, and I have an app on my phone called LabCorp that keeps a record of every single time I've been tested. Um, and I've never had anything in my life STD wise. So all the talk about my pussy burning and all this, like your baby daddy still want me. Your boyfriend still want me. Like <laughs> regardless of what you say to try to make me sound like I'm this horrible person and all of this shit. I know who the fuck I am and I can post my test results, but I know the fuck that you can't cream corn. Oh shit, somebody told me to stop blowing my vape in my mic. So let me stop doing that. I don't know, is that will that fuck my will that fuck my mic up, y'all? Um, anyway. Y'all saw the video there, right? We saw. Mariah's come says she saw a picture of some panties that a hairstylist or, or makeup artist or somebody posted or not posted, but showed her. Showed her a picture of some panties that looked like cream cream corn what what the fuck ladies ladies can it look like cream corn in your panties is that what it be looking like like this vaginal discharge and listen i'm not shaming we humans bodily functions it happened but the way mariah describing it i'm like is this an exaggeration Cause that like now I don't want Mexican street corn or cream corn ever again. I'm just saying. Now I don't want it ever again. And I don't know, Mariah, you're just not the most credible when it comes to things like this. So are you embarrassed because Bianca said that about you? Now I, Bianca could be lying on you too, Mariah. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and say your pussy don't stink, but it, I do get stank pussy vibes from you sometimes the way you be acting. Okay? Um 
But I don't know. She did say, look, this makeup artist or this stylist or whoever showed her a picture. And she named a name. So whoever's name she threw out there, I don't see why she would lie on them when the person could expose Mariah for being a liar if she was lying. Do y'all y'all catch what I'm saying? So I don't know. Maybe Bianca did have the corn panties. I don't know. Um, but I know this. Mariah, you're not to be trusted. You're a snake. You're not a good friend. You're not a good reality star. We're tired of watching you. Okay? I hope you enjoy your last season on Baddies because this is it. You will be getting your pink slip and your walking papers after this season. And then you can go find a home somewhere else. Maybe, just maybe, WeTV will take you. But I don't know. At this point, Mariah, I feel like, you know, you're... Y'all, please forgive me when I say this, but to me, you're washed up. I think you need to hang it up. Now, don't, never, never stop following your dreams, Mariah. If you want to keep doing reality and performing and being an artist, go right ahead. But I don't see Mariah Lynn topping the charts anytime soon. I don't see Mariah Lynn on Real Housewives anytime soon. I don't see Mariah Lynn on Traitors or House of Villains or anything like that. I don't see her really working in reality TV much longer. So, hey, sis. Better go to and down, download that Indeed app, baby. Unless you plan on taking some Dubai trips. And y'all know what I'm saying when I say that. And I hope this video don't come off mean. Like I'm just being really mean to Mariah. But I'm just overwatching her and her lies and her manipulation and the bullshit. And her thinking that we're stupid as viewers. Because see, that's the thing I hate is when they try to play us for stupid. Anyway, whose side are you on? Are you team Mariah or are you team Bianca Bonnie? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Um, and I want to know, do you think that the girls are lying about the coochie and the cream, the cream corn and the panties? Is it all an exaggeration? Are they just trying to hurt one another? Do you guys think that they were ever friends? Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a beat and click this thumbs up button right down there below the video. That helps me get into the YouTube algorithm so more beautiful people like yourself can find me here, okay? Also, if you would like to donate to the Damien After Dark movement, it helps us sustain this podcast and continue to grow. In the description box below will be some ways that you can donate using PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. I'll also post my Amazon wish list down there for anybody that chooses to take that route. All right, don't forget that my podcast, Damien After Dark the Podcast, airs each and every Sunday night live here on YouTube at 930 Central and airs next day on Spotify and Apple Podcast for your listening pleasure on the way to work while you're at work at the gym, on your walk, or wherever, whenever you listen to your podcast, okay? Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me again today. I love you and I appreciate you so much. We'll see you next time on Damien After Dark. See you. Bye.